everyone, it's Beth in the Wilton Test Kitchen. Father's Day is approaching, so we wanted to do something fun for all the dads. So we're going to do a maple bacon cupcake today because who doesn't love bacon? So to start, I've already baked out my chocolate cupcakes. You can use your favorite scratch recipe or a homemade mix. We're going to do a few different kinds of toppings on our cupcakes. So the first thing to do after you bake them out is make your bacon. And I'm going to do that on this griddle pan, which I love because as the bacon cooks, all of the grease settles into the ring around the edges and keeps the bacon up out of it. It makes it super crispy, just the way I like it. So I'm using regular cut bacon for this, not thick cut. And you just want to arrange the slices on the pan and they can actually touch each other on the pan. And don't worry if they hang over into the moat around the edges because bacon shrivels up so much as it cooks, they're going to make get shorter and they're also going to cook away from each other. Now we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes and it's gonna get really crispy. And one of the perks of baking your bacon bacon your bacon in the oven as opposed to cooking it on the stovetop is that your stovetop's not going to get all splashed with grease. Plus, I think the bacon smell doesn't linger as long when you've cooked it in the oven. Cut about half of the bacon into pieces between an inch and three inches long. We're going to use these pieces to make a fabulous chocolate bark that sits atop the cupcakes, so now we need to melt down some candy melts. I'm using light cocoa candy melts for my bark. Just melt them down according to the package directions. I'm going to use the microwave. So now we're just going to pour our melted candy into a sheet pan. Delicious. We're going to spread it thinly. I want it to be about an eighth of an inch thickness. And then working quickly so the candy doesn't set up too much, go ahead and drop the pieces of bacon that we just cut right onto the candy. Give them a little bit of a press so that they adhere. And then to sweeten the deal, I'm going to sprinkle with some mini chocolate chips because I like the contrast that it gives in color and in texture. And then chocolate sprinkles because why not? Now I'm just gonna put this in the fridge to chill while we finish out our cupcakes. So I still have half of my cooked bacon and I'm going to take about three quarters of that and cut the strips into thirds. These I'm going to drizzle with a candy melt ganache and stick right up out the top of our cupcakes. And then you're gonna have a few strips of bacon left. These are actually just getting crumbled to go over. So this is kind of fun. Mm. We're going to do a candy melt ganache to dunk our cupcakes into and also to drizzle over our bacon strips. And this couldn't be simpler to do. I have light cocoa candy melts here and a third of a cup of heavy cream. And then just microwave this at 50% power until it's really smooth and well combined. And make sure you stir in between. So as the candy melts and the cream heat up, you'll be able to stir them together into a luscious and smooth ganache. So I'm just going to take the strips of bacon that I cut and lay them on a sheet pan. And then we're going to drizzle them with our ganache. Kids, it's totally okay to lick the spoon. Mm. Adults, you can do it too. While your ganache is still fluid, go ahead and dip the tops of your cooled cupcakes. Awesome. Just give it a shake and a twist and let it set up. These are going to be amazing. We're going to make a super simple maple buttercream and that's really going to tie the flavors together of the chocolate and the bacon. I like this recipe because everything goes into the bowl at once. I have about a pound of sifted confectioner sugar, some heavy whipping cream, six tablespoons of butter, and some maple flavoring. That's where we're gonna get the awesome maple flavor from. Now we're just going to spatula ice our cupcakes with our maple buttercream. Give it a good dollop. You need it to be a little bit tall so that we can stick all of our bacon pieces and candy bark into and have it have something to sit in. For the finishing touches, I've got my candy bark out of the fridge. And you just lift it out of the pan just like that when it's cold. And you wanna cut this into big, tall shards. You could also just break it, and it'll kind of break a little bit as you're cutting it. Don't worry about it. This should not be stressful. So let's build this up. Take your iced cupcake. We're going to insert a piece of our bark a piece of our bacon, 
check that out. And then finishing touches, a few more mini chocolate chips, some of that bacon we reserved, and why not a few more chocolate sprinkles. Now that's a cupcake everyone will love, especially dad. So what are your plans for Father's Day? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear. And let me know what your dad would think of these cupcakes. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because Wilton always has new ideas coming for you and we'd hate for you to miss one. I'm Beth, see you soon.